DNA shared on genealogy website GED Match helped investigators narrow in on Joseph D'Angelo, the man they say is the Golden State Killer. I've never heard of the police using a genealogy website in this way before. I would expect that they will keep doing it if they get successes. Jay Stanley is the senior policy analyst for the ACLU. He says if police use websites like Ancestry, 23andMe, and MyHeritage, it could pose a lot of concerns, and there needs to be more transparency. Just because something can be done with today's technology does not always mean that it should be done. I mean, the technology is so new, it's a wild west when it comes to what people can do with DNA, and I think we as a country are feeling our way towards what kind of checks and balances and privacy protections we need to put in place. The websites have denied providing information to law enforcement. After matching crime scene DNA to a genetic sample from a relative of Joseph D'Angelo, who was registered on a genealogy website, police zeroed in on the 72-year-old former cop. He was arrested and now faces charges in connection with 12 murders and 45 rapes in the 1970s and 80s. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lee Sheps.